Hi everyone, this is my Tez Chats number two. Um, last time we talked about the idea of self-love and how important it is to love yourself and to not place so many judgments on oneself. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, an extension of that, which is loving one's physical body. Um, I know this can be a very difficult thing and it's something that I've definitely struggled with in the past and the idea that we place such fierce judgments on the way we physically look can be really disheartening and I know for me it didn't start until I came out to Los Angeles before that you know I was living in Adelaide South Australia and I um, never really thought about the way I physically looked um, I didn't judge my body, I wasn't hyper aware of everything that I put into my body. Um, I ate carefree, I just loved my life, I was, I was exercising and, and I was relatively fit and healthy. I wasn't totally toned and I had you know, soft bits here and there but essentially I was really happy and then it was, uh, it was in 2008, um, the year before I moved out to Los Angeles and I was still kind of eating whatever I wanted and having fun and just not caring about my body. And then um, and then in 2008, I saw a picture of myself on a beach and I was wearing a bikini and um, the comments were awful. It was on the internet and it was the first time I'd ever really dealt with anything like that. And it was incredibly confronting and overwhelming and I got really consumed by what these people on the internet were saying about my body and picking it apart and I guess trolling these uh, message boards and I really took it to heart and from that point on I started to develop an obsession with um, a sense of trying to look perfect and I, I got a trainer immediately. I started looking up every health thing online. Um, I was looking up, you know, what foods to eat, what foods not to eat. And everything's so contradictory, by the way, on the internet. It's like one article says, oh, sprouted grains is good for you. Another one says, you know what, it'll make you put on weight. Your body can't digest it properly. So I was reading all this information and it was kind of like a swinging pendulum. And I became very sort of obsessed with it. And it by the end of 2010, I had just finished shooting um, I'm Number Four, and on that film I had to do a lot of physical work and I was acting a lot, um, you know, obviously for that movie, but I was like, oh, well, I need to transform myself into a warrior, so I started working out excessively and I became incredibly militant about the food I was putting in my body. Everything was completely raw, nothing was cooked, I had no grains, no carbs. Um, it was strictly like fruit, vegetables and a tiny bit of protein. Um, and it just wasn't enough, it wasn't, it wasn't filling my body in the way it needed and I dropped weight. And it's funny, I was, I was 104 pounds, which is so so skinny and not right for my body and it, it didn't look like me. You can actually Google pictures of me from 2010 and I'm I'm this shell of myself and I just was not happy at all. Um everyone was telling me, Oh, you got a six pack and oh you look very skinny. Um and it filled me up. It made me feel pretty and attractive and um but then I I I had this really unhealthy relationship with food and it was really awful. It was um, a really kind of isolating time in my life and I now look back on those pictures and I think, bless that little heart of that, that girl going through that. And I know that we all go through moments like this where we're so hard on ourselves. And kind of what I was saying before is, we are not hard on our friends or, um, or our family or our loved ones, yet we still cannot love and accept ourselves and the way we look. And your physical body is just that. This is just your skin and your body and it's going to change. It's, 
It's going to get bigger, it's going to get smaller, it's going to get wrinkly, it's going to droop. And I hate the idea that we label our body as less than or more than another person's body. Don't we all just have bodies that are our own? I mean, I look at, at my body now and I made a conscious decision to really let go of my obsessiveness over over food and exercise and I did that about eight months ago and my body has just found its natural way and I'm so much happier. Everyone I know tells me it looks like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and it was that shift that I decided to make inside of me because I knew that I was filling a void in me. I was filling it with with something uh, and it was an external thing. It was um, it was just nothing that was coming from inside of myself. It was, well, if I eat this food, then um, I'll look this way. And if I exercise this much, then I'll look really toned and then I'll be happy. And whenever you source happiness from external things, it never is um, fulfilling in the way that you want it to be. And that's why I think there are so many unsatisfied people out there is because we're wanting more and more and more. Um, my dog's literally going for a little swim over there. I'll show you. It's very cute. Hi, Coda. Are you in the pool? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I've really, I've really felt a lot better in the last eight months since I've made that decision to let go of my obsession over that stuff. Um, the garage truck, I think. Um, <clears throat> garbage truck. Why is it a garage truck? Oh. So, um, yeah, I just want to really encourage you guys. Let's embrace and celebrate our bodies and the things that it can do. I, I love that women's bodies can grow a human being and pop a child out. And, I mean, I'm sure it's not as simple as popping a child out, but if we can we have the ability to heal ourselves when we get injured and what an incredible miraculous thing that our bodies are the way they are and let's embrace them and and love the parts of you that you see as perceived flaws we are all just human beings and no one is greater than or less than and let me tell you every person I know I don't care if they're male or female everyone struggles with the way that they physically look and try and let it go. I know it can be easier um, to say that than to actually put that into practice, but just try. Just the, the, um, the effort of being conscious of saying, you know what, today I'm going to embrace and love my body in every way. I love what it does. I can run. I fall asleep. I sleep for eight hours. I eat and digest food. I'm healthy what a, what a healthy being and in the end we're we're growing older and older and older and we're going to embrace the process of aging and our bodies aren't ever really going to be perfect so we have to find what perfect is to us and know that that's um it's something that's constantly going to be in flux and just give over to the fact that this is your body treat it as best you can do things for it that really serve it eat healthy food don't get militant. Don't get obsessive. Exercise, move your body because it serves you. But again, stop with the obsessiveness because it is not worth it. And we only live this life once in this body. I just love it. You're going to get to 80, 90 years old and you don't want to look back on your life and think, God, I was really miserable because I spent so much time focused on cellulite on my ass or the size of my jeans and we've got to stop placing judgments on ourselves and then that means we'll stop putting judgments on other people's bodies let's just love everyone for our spirits and the good people that we are and the, and the wonderful things that we do in our life okay so that's it for me um i will talk to you guys soon